Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a smooth and stabilized double reverse speed ramp easy in After Effects. Let's begin. First of all right click on your clip, then go to time and select enable time remapping. By moving this time forward, we can select the beginning of the speed ramp. Once you are happy with the beginning, we can scroll forward a bit and then change the time until you are satisfied with the ending of the speed ramp. Now let's scroll forward again and to create a reverse speed ramp, simply copy that first keyframe and paste it there. If you play the video you'll see you already have that reverse speed ramp, but let's make a double speed ramp. Scroll forward again and then copy second keyframe and paste there and we're done. We can now cut the rest of the clip and then let me show you what it looks like. It's ready, but needs to be smoothed. Select all keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard to easy ease them, then go to Graph Editor, right click here and select Edit Value Graph and then make a smooth curve like mine. Once you are done, close Graph Editor and then enable Frame Blending on your clip, click here twice until you see an arrow and then let's check the speed ramp. And that's it, first part is ready and now we can stabilize the video. First let's pre-compose the clip, otherwise you won't be able to stabilize it. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Scroll to the beginning and then click on stabilize motion. Make track point slightly larger and then move it on a part you are going to lock on, in my case it's a wheel and I will stabilize and lock on the wheel here. I will make inner point slightly larger as well and then click on options here. Select RGB and check adapt feature on every frame and then hit OK. Now click Click on Analyze Forward and wait until it's done. In case it fails and track point jumps out from the point like that, just make sure to scroll to the moment where it failed, in my case it was second frame and then simply correct track point. I will also make track point larger a bit and then try analyzing again. And as you see it's now fixed and analyzes the video 100% accurately. Sometimes AE fails to track, but sometimes it works just fine. Once analyzing is done, click on apply here and then hit OK. Now close tracking window and next we have to fix those black edges. To fix we can simply scale the video until they are gone. And now I will center the wheel, but first let's enable proportional grid from here, it will help us to find the very center of our screen, so let's drag the video until the wheel is centered. In case you see those blacks again, just scale the video a bit more. Now reposition the wheel until it's centered and we are done, let's quickly check what we have got. And we are done with double reverse speed ramp and it looks so smooth and amazing. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.